many more car manufacturers are now telling you to do ADOS calibrations after you do an alignment or serious suspension work, as in the case of my 2017 BMW 750i xDrive. It had some new components replaced in the front end, and per BMW, it is required to recalibrate the front radar sensor. That's what we're gonna do next. So the alignment has been performed on this BMW. Tires are set to the correct PSI. I'm ready to begin my calibration on the front radar. First thing we're gonna do is hook up the VCI. One thing about BMW ignition system, you have to press it three times rapidly to keep the key on and not to have the engine running. So keep that in mind about BMW and also disable the auto start feature as well when you are doing these calibrations. So we'll do that real quick. We'll go ahead and do diagnostics. Auto ID, and we'll select X Drive. We'll go into ADOS calibration. We're going to deal with our radar today. The camera, this one is a uh, static or a drive cycle that would be done with the ADOS link, but we're going to be using the target board to actually do the front radar. He'll tell you, it says right here, just to turn that auto stop off, that's right there. We already did that. So we'll press continue. Here's all the required components you are going to need to do this, which we have them all laid out already. So now we're gonna go ahead and start using the rack and setting this up. Uh, we're gonna position the unit in front of the vehicle, which we've already done. And we're gonna go step-by-step -step instructions so that you can see how to do this. Also keep in mind that the license plate and bracket, if is on the front of the vehicle, needs to be removed prior to doing this calibration. We have, we've already removed that. We don't have one, we're good to go. So perform the calibration when, obviously if it was removed, replaced, um, or damaged or anything like that, but the last one is the important one. Alignment or suspension work has been performed. Like I said earlier, this is becoming more and more common by manufacturers to now require calibration of your ADOS systems after an alignment or suspension work. Make sure your vehicle's on a level surface, good lighting, correct tires, correct tire pressure. Make sure the radar sensor is not dirty. All of those things uh, make sure you take a look at before you begin anything and also do not have a lot of weight in the car, which we don't. This is gonna tell you how much room we need. And now it's gonna ask us to hook up our cameras. The distance is already inputted from the ADOS link. Those are correct from the manufacturer. So we'll press continue. Now it's gonna ask us to put on our target boards on the rear wheels. Make sure they're level. You got a bubble level on top of your hanger right here so make sure that it's installed correctly and make sure the target board is straight up and down we'll move on to the next step asking us to install our contact plate to the front of the DOS 3000 rack now it's going to ask us to slide the DOS 3000 unit to the front of the car center and you're going to use that that's why we got the contact plate so you don't want to damage the bumper so we'll slide this into place Center it with the front of the car. Gently touch the front bumper and verify that both targets are seen clearly by the cameras. So there's no glare or anything like that that could cause a problem. Both of these are in view. So I'll press continue. And now we're gonna slide it back to the position required Nice and slow. I always say sometimes this is the trickiest part to get this thing just perfect. 
Once we're lined up, we'll press continue, and it's gonna ask us to lock the DOS 3000 into place. This is where you're gonna to have to determine where your sensor location is on your car. And then you would have to select left, center, or right based on the position of the sensor mounted on the vehicle. Ours is directly front and center. So I'm gonna select the center one. If yours was over to the left, select that. If it was over to the right, select that. It'll affect your position of the board as well, but we're going to select center because ours is right in the center of the car. Now it's gonna ask us to install our target board in the center, and we're also gonna put it on a vertical position. Take my contact plate off. Slide it into place and lock it down. It does say in the directions here to use one of these. This is only going to be used if you had to actually set your board over to the left or to the right. But because I'm in the center, I don't need this. We're just gonna use the center one to lock it into place. About the only special tool you're gonna to need today is we're gonna make sure that the target board is centered correctly on the rack. and adjust accordingly. Make sure you're in the center position here as it's asking us to do now, and also make sure your rack is level. Adjust accordingly. We'll press continue. Disconnect your USB and step away from the calibration area. I'll just come over here. We'll press continue now. Make sure nobody enters the area. Obviously don't turn the car off or the scan tool or what's the point at this point of doing it. Uh, close all the doors and make sure the car isn't rocking and rolling for some reason. Press continue. If it has air suspension, start the engine, close all the doors, wait until the suspension has settled. This one has already been sitting for a while and it has settled, so I'm okay to begin. Or, or I'm, I'm okay to be, uh, press continue on this. Calibration in progress, please wait. And the calibration has successfully completed. Relatively simple. Also now I do have a detailed report that has been saved to my ADOS that I can print off or email to the customer showing that the calibration was successfully completed. Of course, in the case of all ADOS calibrations, test drive it before you return it to the customer. For more ADOS videos, make sure to check out the Hunter YouTube page where we've done a ton of these videos that you can learn how to do in your shop.